Hello viewers, this is Shomi, PhD from University of North Bengal and PDF from IIT Madras. So we, today's topic is that how origin software could be helpful for deconvolution of the curve. This is the one of the reputed paper chemistry Silex of John Willey. Here authors have been utilized the origin software to deconvolute the spectra of water. Water is the only example. So here we can see that that this broad brand could be deconvoluted as it is SML of the three peaks such a way. So this is one of the example. Another example I will show you shortly. This paper term is a fluid phase equilibria as published by the LCVR. Here. here also they have utilized, author have utilized the deconvolution method to converge and to identify the individual peak which could be assembled in a assemble of peak. This is the water spectra came up from the FTIR. So this is a broad view. The only matter is how can you do this in our own arena? Like what is the example if you have different peak which is assemble of peaks, how could you deconvolute or identify the specific peak? So for that we will utilize the origin software. Now I will open the origin software. Before that I will show you that the Excel sheet where the XY value of the this FTIR spectra, these all are the FTIR spectra what I have been shown already. This is the X axis, this is the Y axis, is all are the FTIR spectra of the water. Previously in fluid phase equilibria it was the water and also in chemistry silex uh, same one. However, if uh, it could be similar way when we use, we will change the water to the deuterium OD because as we all know the deuterium is much more perfect tool or operator to evaluate the water structure. So I select this X and Y curve such a way and only copy it, make a copy of that same and now I will open the origin software. So these all are the template of the origin software. We will double click on the system template where we can put down the XY value as came up from the FTR data of the OD that I term already deuterium. So our data has already been inserted here. Now we will plot it using this line bar. Yeah, indeed, this is the deuterium spectra of water. However, the scale has to be shorted because this came down up to 0 0.005. Now we will illustrate how to, you know, that uh, systemize the scale. We go to the this y axis and double click here. Scale bar came. This is scale, scale bar came. And now I will erase the minus 0.005 to 0 and this or click this OK button. Now our the spectra has been convergent to 0 y axis level. This is the imperative that three cumulative peaks, three at least the um, uh, three peaks, one is here, one is here, one is here. This is assemble and this all the peaks give us this total whole spectra. Right now how can we uh, distinguish the individual spectra from this curve. For that we have to go to the analysis and go to peak and baseline and then multi peak fit. After multi peak fit there is several value we choose the Gauss one. This is the Gaussian distribution. The Gaussian distribution is a significantly quantum term by which we can uh, deconvolute or can evaluate when collective peaks are there and we would like to show the individual one from the collective peaks and one another tabular table or the box has already been open as there is a I assume that three peaks are there so for the uh, new learner it is imperative that we will not have to show or have to pick picking the exact peak position by the iteration technique we will have the exact peak position what I will show later. So one peak here, one peak here, I assume there is another peak here. So I just now click the open NL fit. So upper on putting the open NL fixed, another box, net fee box, ghost box has come up. 
here several parameter are there first of all i you could see that our this is black one is our original spectra however the peak we have put it or we have we assume to there should be but they are not lying in the or not convergent that's what we have to use the iteration technique this is the iteration one one by one iteration will have our actual convergence spectra which could be fixed with the original FTIR spectra of OD deuterium and this is the fit until convergent which software will do automatically however I will prefer the one by one iteration technique by which we will have our original convergence spectra so I will put I will click on the first iteration so see this lie down second iteration so this is the first iteration reduced chi square value actually indicates as the goodness of fitting the terminology is reduced chi square you can find it in the anywhere in elsewhere in google so the first one was for 0.97 but second one it was came up with the 0.99 so we can see from this spectra is a good convergent of the cumulative peak with the black one that is the original data came up from the FTIR data of water besides that some other uh, formula is there like the formula this formula has been utilized to uh, Gauss, Gaussian deconvolution to use the Gaussian deconvolution of this spectra and this is the sample curve with this sample curve is nothing but give us some parameter like the full with half maxima all this stuff are there and this one last one is the residual curve residual curve actually give you the idea of the goodness of fitting as we have seen here that residual curve give us the idea about the its lie down as go like the sine curve it's around zero axis and this is show you the goodness of fitting this is terminology as a residual curve so besides that i only click on the done button that is the our work is finished so data yeah they have told that we need the data right now no we will show the data later on this this is the some parameter which will came up from this curve fitting we will show you later on the disc on description so this is the peak b black curve and peak one red one peak fit red one peak two this is the green one and peak three is the blue one however i will right now show how to see the um, how to show much better this curve i put on lick the independence here the red one i enlarge the width of the red one to three with with three and same i did for the green one three and i same i did for the blue one three and last one is the our fitted plot so how to distinguish from the fitted plot and the original spectra for that i will not go for the line rather i would like to use some you know the sub symbol or drop line yeah i have used the drop line so when i have used the drop line it will show such a way so is this mean that the total sine curve is the our fitted curve now i will erase it if i do this horizontal it came up as like that without having the full spectra and line if i that line i just enhance the width of the line and for our main data so this end up black one is our original FTR data and cyan one is the fitted cumulative curve and the assemble curve came up as the red one green one and the blue one this is how we can deconvolute any origin spectra this is specific example for water but you can utilize it for any curve where it could be assumed that several spectra assemble and we will have that curve besides that i also show how to 
change the ligand. This is the x-axis ligand. You can change this wave number also at the, some specific parameters or unit and this is indeed the normalized absorbance How far? So good. So if you would like to see the data of this individual curve, we go to the windows, go to the book, and here, we put down here. This will show us some parameters and uh, how could you fit this. This is the residual plot as I already told earlier. This is the residual plot. This is the go around zero axis, show the goodness of fitting. And this is the column plot of the residual. Residual actually give us the idea about the goodness of fitting, nothing else. Now we go again windows and book one, data is here. Third data, give us the peak one data. This is the independent variable that is came up in the x-axis only, y-axis for the peak 1, y-axis for peak 2, y-axis for peak 3, and last one the cumulative peak. And these all are for residuals. So this is the initial approach, how one can deconvolute any assembler graph and fit it with cumulative graph with the deconvolution, which will give you the individual peak and individual different peak parameters. Today is up to that. Thank you.